Hey guys, well, I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I ended up getting this redone and uh, we took off and went to Yellowstone um, and a bunch of other places. I ended up getting it to work, but these inverters back here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace them. Uh, hold on one second here. These inverters back here, so they work, um, but they're not working right. So the problem is, is that these inverters are only 30 amp each, and I've got a 50 amp service. So I have to have two in parallel, and then I've got to have two series because I've got two legs, because I've got two panels. And this master that runs the rest of them it lost communication with the uh, outback panel up in the bus. So now I don't have any visibility into any of these. The other thing is that um, this inverter, I've noticed when it goes to invert mode, it leaks its power back to the front, um, to the input. So then this uh, inverter thinks that it has AC power when it's trying to invert. So then, because this one's leaking through, but it's not 120 volts, it's only like 80 volts. So there's something messed up in the uh, computer. So this one down here, I've noticed it's kind of doing the same thing. Um, so this one, seems to be okay and this one seems to be okay and this one it kind of seems like there's something wrong with the diodes and then this one like i said it lost communication with the computer up front so i'm gonna take all four of them out so i've got two victron um, multiplus coming so i'm gonna wire one up to each leg and then i've got a servo that will take the commands from it and then I've got the color touch so that I can see it and then I'm also going to install the Lynx connector here so that I can have more of a distribution bar and then put in a, uh, a 500 amp shunt so that I can see how much battery voltage is coming off so what I'm doing now is trying to figure out exactly what I need to make that happen I should be having the inverters um, come in this week and the rest of the parts. So now I've got to come in here and rip all this apart. So I'm gonna go from four 30 amp, 3,500 watt inverters to two 50 amp, 3,000 watt inverters. Cause we don't run our air conditioner and 3,000 watt on each leg will still run uh, one air conditioner. And so, so far in this thing, we, we went and it was like 95 degrees out. Only had to run the front one and the back one. And I put the two center ones in fan only mode and it cooled the coach down. So I don't need four. And I can run in one air conditioner off 3000 watts of battery. And then the inverters, they have 50 amps of pass through. So when I get somewhere, and I plug in, I don't have to worry about both inverters working and trying to talk to each other and share to when I go beyond 30 amps, because that's always kind of um, worried me. So I'll have some uh, another video when I get the different parts and pieces. What I'm doing right now is trying to figure out exactly what I need. I'm going to look at all of the cable sizing, make sure that it's correct i think that the cable is actually larger than it needs to be which is a good thing but need to make sure it's going to connect right to all of the different connections i've got coming up and then i also want to um, make this look pretty i think i've got the um, general concept done so i'm going to put like a, a black mat on top of that and then i'll um, surround this with wood uh, same thing with this guy in here so the general concepts there I've got my grill on top I've got my cabinet in here that'll pull out so now I want to make some cabinet doors and uh, 
make it look pretty. So I've kind of got like the, it's kind of like having a kitchen without face frames, if you know what I'm talking about, um, and a countertop. So I'm ready to uh, put the, the kitchen cabinet doors on and the countertop, but I need to get the backbone of this done. And, you know, I, f I feel confident in the way that I've got it wired. These inverters, um, there's something, something wrong with them and I'm tired of messing with it. And if I were to go to sell this, um, there's no way that, you know, unless somebody was electrically inclined, they they would know how to operate it. And so if I get these, these two new inverters in here, it, it'll work the way it, it should. So I feel a whole lot better about it. But uh, just thought I'd throw out another video, um, just kinda, uh, trying to get this zeroed out feel like the air system and everything um, you know I'd like it if, if I didn't lose any air but it does um, and you know I'll have to crawl all over the, the whole bus to find an air leak right now the the main AC it cycles about once an hour the uh, 24 volt one that I put in for the bathroom and the generator airbags it doesn't I think it takes like a whole day um, for it to cycle, if that. So I'm kind of happy with that. It kind of works the way I need it to. So that's it for right now. Just thought I'd show you a video of where I'm at and what's coming up. Um, we'll see how these inverters do. I'm going to have to do a split phase uh, series connection with them. Um, and we'll see how they communicate and where I end up putting the touch screen and the servo and we'll bring it up to the 21st century. You'll be able to do it by Bluetooth and, and everything. So I think it'll make a, a lot better system. Well, I got the new system put in. Ended up leaving this stuff pretty much the same. I had to run some wires down through here uh, for the color touch, but what I've got now, I took out the four Outback inverters and I put in two uh, Multiplus 24 3000 watt um, 70 amp battery charger. And then, so I've got um, power from the batteries from both of these that come in. And I've got my still, my same setup over here where I've got the power in the generator are switched by this guy. This is a transfer switch for a dryer outlet off the 240. But then the power comes in and then it goes to the inverters. And then this has 50 amp pass through. So now I'm not limited to 30 amp where I had on the others. <clears throat> and then each of these have a leg that come out. Uh, they go to their own breaker. And then it comes over to this panel and um, each one of these go to the panel. And so I've got it so that um, this top breaker is the top inverter, bottom inverter. Um, I've also got top panel, bottom panel, so the top panels by the top inverter. The other thing I did too was I went ahead and wired in um, some Cat5 cable and then ran that over to this box. So then I've got them jumpered together, the two. And so I've got them program for split phase. So then I have that come down to the servo. And then I've got the line. I had to get some extensions. Um, that's to the color touch. And then so the power to the servo runs back that way. So right now, that's all I've got set up in there. There's also a battery temperature for the inverters, but everything works. That's I wanted it to look a little cleaner, but that's about as best as I'm going to be able to get it. Um, it's not too bad. So the color touch I put inside here took me a day to get the dang fridge out because I put the screen back there. So up here, um, these still work, but this had the Outback thing in it, and this had a blank. So I'm going to move, I found back in here is an antenna uh, booster. So I'm going to pull that up front. And then also 
this cable right here. I put new ends on it because I found out they didn't even crimp them right. But I can program the inverters from in here if, if I don't want to go outside. So I'll get that. Got a new panel put on there, so I'll wire it up. But then I put the uh, servo over here on the wall. So I tried to get it to look like it was clean. Problem was, to get the fridge out of there, had to take doors off, had to take this panel out, and then it was actually pretty clever. They've got a bracket down here that's about an inch and a half tall to keep the fridge from coming out. So I actually, I had to lift the fridge up, pull it out. Then I found out these doors were too close. So then I had to pick the fridge back up, move it back in, take these doors off, then take the fridge out and pull it out of the way so that I could get the servo um, wire run down. But now everything works. Like I said, I've got it in split phase. Um, then it's also picking up our Wi-Fi, so I can see this screen and then also this screen. I can see this um, anywhere I've got internet connection. So right here you can see um, leg one and leg two. That's how much watt it's pulling, so not very much, 137 total. So this is going to the uh, multiplus, so that's the screen. So this is the loads. So somewhere I've got 19 and 16 watts. Um, who knows what they are? Probably battery chargers. And then it's got 42 watts going to the battery. So that's saying it's 13.2 volts, um, which is what the screen up here says. So it's 13.2. If I flick this switch, um, that's my generator at 13. And then these are my chassis batteries at 25 and a half, which is what, 12.75. So that's fine. Um, so that's pretty cool. So if I turn on the uh, an air conditioner, it'll take too long to do that. But if I get a couple fans here. Oops, sorry about that. So I've got two fans. Um, should be off both of them so then it shows you know what's off each leg so 440 watts um, each one of those inverters is 3,000 watts so I should be able to run an air conditioner off the inverter um, one off the front one off the back I've got enough battery capacity um, this is also it's got a new um, screen in, inside of here um, you can also um, put up different, so you could probably do like the, the water tank, gray tank, blank tank, black tank, um, then you could do your fuel tank. These are temperature sensors. I um, thought I had one connected, but um, these are just different things. You hit pages and it goes back. You can, I've got that to time out at 10 minutes and then auto um, change, but big improvement. Number one, it works. Um, number two, I don't have to worry about running two inverters in parallel to get enough pass through um, for everything. This auto switches, does everything it's supposed to. So it's just nice to, to get it all up and running. But it's been a while since I posted a video. This is why, because those inverters were a mess. I'm going to be sending them back to Outback, um, going to have them fix them. And then I'll probably be putting them up for sale, all four of them. Um, so that's it. I'll uh, probably post another video soon uh, when we go out camping. Um, see if I can get anybody to let me film them. Um, thanks for watching.